Hello everyone. I have a package I'm going to share with you. This is from Aura Estelle and I did mention this a couple weeks ago on their new offering of a planner that is in the B6 size. So it got here in three days. No, five days from Canada. I didn't even realize this was super fast and it actually really wasn't that expensive. Yep, so it's just one item. And I am just checking to make sure I'm still in frame. Also, I have this here just because I wanna make sure my lighting was okay since I'm filming this in the evening. But this is the B6 Classic Weekly and it's undated. So this looks almost exactly like a um, Stalogy. Let's see, I have this notebook that I haven't used yet. Um, this is a Tukukur notebook. And so rather than pulling out a Stalogy, because I can't find one for whatever reason, um, actually I'm not really a huge fan of Stalogy, in the B6 size, but anyway, this is Tomoe River paper, and these are notebooks that have Tomoe River paper. So this is the Life Noble Note. It's a B6 size, at least that's what's listed as here. And this one is slightly shorter probably by a couple millimeters. And plus the life has that um, cream paper grid. And maybe the, this one has a different kind of paper, like the life paper. I don't know if that's actually to my river paper. Now here is, oh, duh, here's my Stalogy. I thought this was the other one, my Wonderland. This is the Stalogy in the B6. Um, it is slightly thinner by a couple millimeters and slightly shorter than the B6 by a little bit more uh, millimeters than on the side. So I hope you could see that. Yeah. And then this is the Noble, which is a hard cover. And I've been saving this one because, just because, I don't want to just jump into it without a purpose. And I don't have a purpose for it at the moment. But this does have a slightly off tone color, but it's not as yellow as the Life notebook paper. But it is Tomoy River, and you can see the difference in color. It's a little bit, kind of reminds me of a green grid washi tape in a sense, but it does have Tomoy River paper. And I did do pen tests uh, a while back when I first got this. And it's a, I really like the fact that it's a hard, hard cover. It has this little band, which is actually really tight, and then a little bookmark. So enough of that. Let's look into this one. So undated, it says Aura is selling any plans. So they must have collaborated to create this setup. And they had two different kinds. They had a weekly and a daily. I went with the weekly because I figured I can still use it as a daily if I wanted to. Just kind of change it up. So we open it up. They have just a little sheet with, oh, kind of like how to use it. So 
Let's see, weekly classic notebook, planning guide, monthly spread. Um, does it have monthly spreads in here? Okay, so this is technically set up where you can use it not only for next year, but the next few years. And, oh, interesting. Oh, they do, okay. So there's, this kind of reminds me of a Hobonichi where you can use this maybe as a uh, habit tracker for each month of the year or just future planning. So there are line 12, six boxes on each two pages or three boxes per page. And then you get into the monthlies. So I wasn't even aware that they had monthlies in here. So that's pretty cool. So you can use your monthlies um, however you want. I'm pretty sure these have been designed to for a certain length to fit a lot of sticker kits out there. You can write the month on the right sidebar and then your days. And then you get a blank grid. Let's see if they have any information on here. Um, no, they get into the weekly. Oh, so the yearly overview, which were the first couple pages, they did talk about these being uh, your monthlies at the top and then either daily gratitude or important dates, mood tracker, and a lot. A lot more options there so I really like how they have this little booklet pamphlet with that information then more monthlies the great thing about it oh and these are bound like stitch bound binding is that what's called yes so I think there's 12 months Let's see and then you get into the weeklies and in the pamphlet for the weeklies, your choice of a Monday or Sunday start. You have your weekly overview in day one, day two, day three, day four, all the way to day seven, they're all the same. Or it could just be week one if you don't have a lot of things going on. Each uh, rectangle could be one week worth. So that's cool. So weekly, I mean, it could be weekly or daily. But this is supposed to be tomorrow over paper. And in the back, you do get some extra pages. Let's see. Yes. So in the back, you do get a lot yes probably like 15 or 20 sheets of just blank grid which can be just for notes which is really nice and then the end page or a cell in any plans and that's it so I'm thinking this was probably Annie Plans, like one of her printable layouts that she has. And um, I'm really excited to use this. And I like the fact that I don't have to feel obligated to use this and I can use it not next year, but the year after, or maybe a couple times next year and then a couple times a year after. I don't know, we'll see, but I really like this and I know that some of my kits will even fit in here. Well, not kits, but my stickers will fit in here. So that's gonna be fun to try out. I really like this clean look with the brush script. So I'm gonna keep that in there. And I have a cover coming, but it's supposed to be for my other calendar planner and um, which is also a B6. And if it doesn't fit, then it will probably be used for this one because I know it will fit this. But yes, 
that's all I have for you guys today. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know if you even attempted to buy one of these, if you knew about it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.